G'day guys, I don't know what Alicia said, but welcome back to another essentially wild adventure and this is going to be a sick one. As you see, we're just loading onto the boat, we've got an hour of steam out to the Forgotten Island. Stick around. made it we have made it to probably one of the most forgotten about islands Curtis Island baby let's do this and we've hit some gravel road it's pretty smooth so far gnarly little sections on this track we're just heading out to the campground she's pretty rutted out and stuff in places right now hill climbs pinstripes on the van but we'll get there just slow and steady wins the race Sudden death. Lots of wild horses here, we heard. There's one of them. That scared me. We've seen a lot of horse poo, but. Yeah. God, he's a looking good, a good looking horse. It is. Very good. Holy testicle Tuesday, Batman. This track, like the track itself isn't that bad. It's just super overgrown. So the risk of pinstripes is imminent. <laughs> I think we've definitely acquired a few, but we've tried our hardest not to, but it's pretty hardcore. If you had a camper trailer, it'd be so much easier. But anyhow, we've, we're almost at our camp, it's taken forever because we've got to crawl along at a snail pace. But it's definitely going to be worth it. Wait till you see what we see when we get up here. I've got a coin, yeah! As you can see here, she's super narrow, overgrown. There's definitely going to be a few new racing stripes on the van, man. Not much we can do about it, but we've cleared as much as we could. Just try our hardest. 
spot is to avoid them. They've done pretty well. Done pretty well so far. There might be a couple of newbies, but what do you do? Hopefully it's all bloody worth it. I'm pretty sure it is though. It's pretty, I've been told this is a pretty spectacular spot. So stay tuned. Hey Molly. We're on a goat track. At least it's downhill. Duffy will come in the back, but. We have made it. We have made it. Holy dooly. <laughs> oh my god, dudes. We made it. I cannot believe we made it. That was friggin' hectic. Like, we've done plenty of driving on the beach four wheel driving type stuff but never through hardcore bush tracks and we're just in the middle of friggin nowhere so if something went wrong it would be not good but we've made it that's the main thing and look at this we're the only ones here how good's that <laughs> Yo morning everybody first night in joey lee's campground we're the only ones out here we're gonna go down and have a fish soon. Bloody thought we'd get an awesome sunset, but it's just out there, just stuck behind the, the clouds there. It's on its way up. Be able to uh, go out and do a damage report soon. But I'm pretty sure we're pretty good. A lot of it is, it's just like there's all that bull dust. And then when you hit the leaves and stuff, it looks like it scratches, but I don't think a lot of it is scratched. So I think we've done pretty well to get out here, considering. Anyhow, stick around. We'll show you some fishing off Curtis Island. good is this just in the middle of nowhere only ones here just knocked up a little rope swing for the kids over there they're loving that but there's always a challenge when you're caravanning or camping there's always something and today it's the bloody cloud cover we're not charging that could turn out to be fatal later. Hopefully we don't run out of power. And then yeah, we're going to rig up some rods, head down there and have a fish. Hopefully this cloud cover burns off and it's all good. Didn't take us long. First cast, first fish. We're, we're into it. I might put the uh, GoPro on a head strap. Round two of the fish in action. Here we go. Ashton's out there. Woohoo! Here you go, bud. She's out there. Just tighten your drag up a bit. There you go, you should be right now. How good's that though? Look at our campsite. Doesn't doesn't get much better than that. Look at it. I was saying earlier that the issues with like running off grid is and we are fully off grid here, there's no phone service, nothing. 
was we're relying on solar and it was cloudy as before but you can see now she's all burning off everything's charging <laughs> it's gonna be a good day we're on your little mate's hooked up come out this way bud he's going near the rocks come out this way he's on the rocks hold on That quick, get him in on the sand here. Take the line, quick. Good size dart. Hey, hey, buddy. Good job, man. You beauty. The fish have come on. We're hooked up again. Oh, he's got he's, he's got some grunt. Don't know. Can't see it. It's just there somewhere. He's over near the rocks. That's what it is. Big dart. Holy heck, dudes, I don't know what I've hooked here, but it is big. I'm gonna get spooled. Ah! Oh! <laughs> See that? Holy crap. That was big. Massive. That had a lot of horsepower. Lost me whole rig. I'm guessing maybe a shark. But I'll tell you how that hit like a Oh, hit like a freight train. That was hectic. Beautiful afternoon here. The boys are just having a fish. Havana's making a potion. <laughs> I've got my spot set up. Have a bit of a sunbake. The van's up there. Beautiful view. The kids have got a rope, rope swing set up. And it's almost low tide. We're gonna go for a um, walk in a minute, see if we can find some caves and rock pools. Because apparently they've got some pretty good ones on low tide. Stay tuned. Curtis Island, eh, buddy? Come have a look at this outside today. What a way to wake up. Look at that. So today we're going to head down to Turtle Street, which is the next campground down. 
but they reckon you can't get a caravan in there so we're gonna go suss it out see if it is possible but if it isn't we'll uh we're here again tonight and then we head back down to the southern campground uh, for the last two days over here so but if we can get into turtle street we'll probably go there anyhow stick about we're gonna go chuck the crab pots in down near turtle street and suss all that out we'll show you how we go we have made it to turtle street campground it's back there there's absolutely no chance you get a caravan in there there's just some super tight little turns you'd easily get a camper trailer in what do you reckon yeah a camper trailer or like if you're tenting it or rooftop tent or whatever definitely get those in there six spot have a look at that have a look at that okay. made, uh, made the little lagoon have a look at it it looks like mud crab heaven and in typical fashion wherever mud crabs live there's always a thousand midges we're getting chewed alive so we're going to quickly chuck these pots in and then um, we'll come back and get them tomorrow before we head back down to the southern campground we'll try and get a couple of liveys for the take back to camp with us mm -hmm. piece of potties in here and we've succeeded on our mission now we've got to keep him alive Get the yeah, fill up the big bucket. We're gonna keep that sucker alive till we get back to camp. Looks like they got a fish, possibly on that rod. It's just fallen off the, the rod holder. We just had a live out. I wasn't watching. I was flicking lures with Ashton. I just heard Alicia yell out, "The rod!" Yeah, what, she just, what Alicia just filled then is the drag marks. <laughs> Or a nice day, or something. I don't know how it hasn't been a few. Live, he's just been eaten. Oh, oh no! Oh, that's fire truck. Live, he's just been eaten. That was big, whatever it was. I think we're being busted. I don't know, we'll check it. So now what? Lucky we got more live, he's. No, we're not busted. We're not busted. It's got off. So, back to the drawing board. Another live is going on. They're here. There's fish here. It's time, time to pack up and leave Joey Lee's campground. Uh, we're going to head down to the southern campground. But, in the on, so we're going to take on the track of doom to get out of here. Hopefully no more racing stripes on the caravan. We've done well to get out here with very few, so... Hopefully we can do the same on the way back. Then we're gonna stop back at Turtle Street, down, which is down there, down near that headland. The beach you can see down there. Gotta stop down there. So we'll ditch the van on the main track, quickly run out, grab our crab pots, come back, hook onto the van, and then head down to the southern campground and we'll show you around there. So stick about, there's still heaps to come on this adventure. We've ditched the man and we've ditched the women. It's a boys only trip. Quickly duck down, get these mud crab traps. Hopefully it's worth all the effort. Hopefully they're full of big muddy dogs. We'll show you very soon. No crab. No crab in that one. We'll go check the next one. The next one. There's every chance they're being pulled, but I reckon. No crab. So when we left here yesterday, we got back up our camp. You go, not that first beach, it's the second one over there. You could see our caravan when we were there yesterday. The anyhow. So you got one cliff there, two cliffs, three cliffs. Then the beach after that is where Joey Lee's is. So we put the traps and that out yesterday. And then when we left, within, oh, took us probably, I don't know, 20 minutes to get back to Joey Lee's on the bush track. Alicia said, I think I can see a car down there. And sure enough, there was a white ute that drove straight down here to the lagoon. And now, lo and behold, 
there's a white ute set up over here with a camper trailer so i reckon there's every chance we did have muddies but someone else got to eat them anyhow oh that's crabbing who would leave a caravan in the middle of a track you maniacs hey. no crabs made it to the southern end back on the bitumen baby And we have a ride. If any of the local people, like we just had this guy from Kurt, we're on Curtis Island and we had this one of the local guys come over and he's like, if you guys need to do any washing, your washing machine's there, you're welcome to use it. Like how good is that? Well then we're just sitting out under the awning having a drink and he comes over with two bags, two, exactly like two of these, filled with coral trout and says here you go enjoy dinner on me what a legend like this place is i don't think i'm gonna leave curtis island we might just never get the ferry home this place is epic so new day new adventure still on curtis island we're down the southern end oh see that big scared the crap out of me big seagull anyhow yeah we're um down the southern end got talking to a local bloke yesterday the guy that come and give us some coral trout <coughs> telling us you come down here and walk out on the flats and chuck your pots in and then come back and check them the tide will run out tomorrow i guess and we'll come back and get them so that's what we're doing but while we're cruising we might um see if we can find a couple of muddy muddy dogs on the flats out here see how we go we've got to be careful because i think this is called the narrows they call it the narrows these creeks and apparently there has been croc sightings around here so we won't get too close to the water's edge and yeah let's do it we are in the thick of it in the dense mangroves trekking through the mud trying to find a likely spot to get a muddy there's heaps of big holes in here I just don't know how brave I am about sticking my hand down a friggin' hole with a crab that's likely to take my finger off. Maybe I need the man up and just take it on, but I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't appeal to me that much, that's all. Right, the trap is set. Time to get out of the midgy pit. Head back. We're gonna go get the fishing rods and the girls and head down the beach do some fishing 
and I'm going to cook up some of that coral trout down on the beach. Man, I can't wait for that. Never caught coral trout before, never had it before. They reckon it's the chicken of the sea, so I'm looking forward to that. Coral trout frying up. So because I've never had it before, I'm not doing a batter, we're not doing it, we're just straight in the fry pan with a bit of spray. They reckon it's the chicken of the sea, so I want to get the full effect and the full flavour of it. That with a bit of salad. Ha! Mate, this is as good as it gets. Old trout's ready, showed up. Ashton's gonna be the, to give us a taste test of the chicken of the sea. How <laughs> yeah, is it? Good. Good? Come up all right, look at that. This is living. This is living. Morning guys. Last day on Curtis Island. Got to go get the crab traps that we put out yesterday. Hopefully we've got some muddies in it this morning. Head out. Let's do this. So we've made it down to the flats. Walking out to the mangroves now. Now we've got to remember, because <laughs> it all looks the same, where we put our bloody traps. I've got a hair idea where they are. We should be right. We found our first trap. Doesn't look like there's anything in it. It's got no bait. Oh no, the bait's still in it. There's no crabs. Yes, there is. One little muddy dog. Oh yeah, I see. Looks like a Jenny though. Is it? Yeah, I think it is. Female. It's a big female. We got one female there. She'll have to go back. Still off. Yep. She'll have to go back. In Queensland, you can't. In New South Wales, you can keep female crabs as long as they haven't got eggs. In Queensland, you're not allowed to keep females at all. So I'll let her go in a sec. We'll go check this other dog. At least we got one. Yeah. It's worth the effort, kinda. I'm not gonna get to eat it, but we still get to see one. Oh man, this is hardcore, this bloody. It's the densest little jungle. Mangrove friggin' forest. The um I was talking to a local black yesterday, he said the crabs haven't been on the last probably week or two. Just because of the um tides. They've only been small tides, which would probably the moon's at the end of its stages too, I think. So yeah, small tides. So they haven't been doing as good on the crabs. Now yeah, well, one female. That's it. So nothing in that trap, unfortunately. But oh well. Still, what a mad spot. Curtis Island. Crabs fishing. <laughs> you got to get here. Yeah, we'll let this let the big girl go see the you can tell by the the bottom over there it's hard to see at the moment we'll let her out there you, there you go dog get back in the mud don't Ashton. there you go just like that bury itself and she'll keep the population growing it's good stuff yeah so as i said we'd in New South Wales, you can keep them as long as they haven't got eggs. The female crabs, the uh, up here you can't. But I reckon it's good practice just to let the females go in here. So she's gone, back in the mud. Now it's time to go back, have a coffee. Got to pump all the tires up on the van and the car, pack up everything and get ready to get on the ferry and head back to the mainland. Yeah. Our time at Curtis Island is over. We have made it back on to the Curtis Ferry, heading back over to Gladstone. What? It's hard. It's hardcore just getting on off the ferry. <laughs> it's stressful. Stressful doing just the ferry, let alone the track. The track. It. But yeah, so that concludes our episode and our time at uh, Curtis Island. If you want to come over to this place, I highly recommend you do. It's awesome. It's a great spot. Um, 
if you want to do Joey Lee's or Turtle Sand, you've got to be fully self-sufficient. There's no amenities, there's no nothing up there. Uh, if you come to the southern campground, well, there's water. Would they have water? They got a drop yeah. there. Not water that you can like plug your tap in and stuff to. I don't think. It's just a tank that you can fill tank. up a water bottle. Yeah. And then they got. Um, there was a shower, not in the campground, but I think it was. Yeah, down, down near, near the beach. Waterfront. They yeah. got it down near the beach. They got a shower and stuff. And then there was a, like the long drop toilets, the drop bear pits. Um, what else did they have? That was about it. Oh, there's the Capricorn. Yeah, they've got rubbish. rubbish bins and that. And then there's the Capricorn Lodge, which acts as like the general store, so you can get bait and all that sort of stuff. Beers. And they've got the, the Capricorn Lodge has actually got a little um, carport thing set up. It's called the Castaway. What was it? The Castaway or the Breezeway? Breezeway, I think. Breezeway Bar. So you can go there and have a, bar, uh, have a beer. But all in all, awesome spot. Highly recommend it. If you go into Joey Lee's, you could probably go now and not get a scratch on your van because we've cleared just about every tree between here and there. Mm. Would I do it again? Probably not with the van. Camper trailer, 100%. It's an epic spot. The campgrounds, like Joey Lee's and Turtle Sands, is um, so much. Set off their car alarm. Yeah, it's so much so much nicer up the top end of the island as opposed to the southern campground just because you can camp right on the beach you got that mad view the southern campground doesn't give you that you're just sort of in the park just in a grass grassed area but heaps to see heaps to do awesome fishing all in all yeah you'd go back we, if we done it again you'd just stay at southern campground and, and do day trips yeah, but if I was coming over with the caravan, that's yeah. You that's, could definitely, you can definitely do Southern Campground easily with the caravan. And you can like you can get the van up there. Sorry about that, flat batterizers. Yeah, so I probably wouldn't take the caravan up to Joey Lee's again. We're talking to the rangers; they reckon that they do clear it from time to time, but mm. it hasn't been done for a while. They might, they might do it over time, but yeah. And then. Um, the only other thing I reckon time of year with May now that's probably the best time we're talking to the Rangers too you're out of stinger season and like the fishing was still good and the water's warm we had nice hot weather so yeah <laughs> but if you like the episode as as always give us a thumbs up hit, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel because there's still heaps of awesome content to come thanks for watching